Ryan Ziering, the star of Sharknado 3, the critically acclaimed movie, which is a lock for an Emmy or at least a Golden Globe Award. And he joins us here on the show. How are you, Ian? I'm doing great. Having a pretty good day. Where did you watch the movie last night? I watched it at a sci-fi viewing party here in the city, here in New York. Who was there? You know what? It was all the people that work at sci-fi. This was not a big press event. This was like a little party that they were having and that I was invited to. And we just, you know, this was a group effort. I may get all the glory, but it's really, it, it takes a village to make these movies successful. On this budget, it's it's a micro budget, but then from there, you know, there's a whole corporate machine that gets behind. So it was great to be around them. What is the budget for this movie? I think about six thousand dollars. Six thousand. Yeah, yeah. If you looked at the craft service table, you would be shocked. It's you know, it's like a couple cold quesadillas, a few grapes, and tea. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had to send out for food sometimes. Where does it film? We filmed Sharknado Three in. Washington, D.C., and then we went down to Orlando, Florida, and um, shot most of the stuff there. How, over how much, what period of time does this movie shoot? We, well, there were probably about 16 or 17 days in front of the camera. When you watch it last night, are you seeing it for the first time? First time. All right. First time. What, what are you thinking when you're seeing this for the I, first I'm, time? Well, I was blown away. First of all, the visual effects artists really, they really nailed it. They kept the campy cheesiness. You know, the blood is not bloody blood. It's just like a splatter that helps you distance yourself from whatever perceived gore there might be. It's just, you know, it, it's a shark slaying or a human killing. It's, but it's not, it's not really a gory thing. It's just something that helps you move past it to the next moment. If you blink your eyes, you, you missed something last night. The movie moved along so fast. There were over 50 cameos, not to, and that doesn't even include all my friends that I stuck in that aren't actors. There's, uh, <laughs> it's just amazing. Your favorite scene from the movie last night was what? Um, working with the Hoff and working with Mark Cuban. I had so much fun with those guys. We laughed so hard. Uh, it's kind of hard to just pick out one moment. Everything moves, like I said, so quickly that, um... There's no time to really sit back and enjoy it, but thinking back, working with those two guys was fantastic. What's Cuban like on set? Hell of a nice guy. He's self-deprecating and funny and confident and charming, and, you know, he's definitely a guy's guy. We were, uh, Anthony Cifarente, the director, was trying to motivate him in this big scene where he comes out of the elevator and there's sharks everywhere, and Anthony is uh, talking to Mark. Mark's very seriously listening to him. It's okay, the sharks, they're... they're Destroying your house, and you're really upset. You're really mad. It's like you just discovered someone stole a half a million dollars from you. And Mark breaks character and looks up and says, I wouldn't even know it was missing. <laughs> and you know what? If there was one cell of pompousness in Mark Cuban, that could have gone south. But there's not. The guy is hysterical. Everybody loved him. And it stopped production for a few minutes because we all had a laugh. It was so funny. Because who could say something like that? And who could say something like that and get away with it? All his success couldn't happen to a nicer guy. He's Ian Ziering, the star of Sharknado 3, premiered on Sci-Fi last night. Joining us here at Dan Patrick Show. When you get the script for this movie, and frankly, when you get the script for any of these three movies, what's your initial reaction? First, I scan it to see if I die. <laughs> They're not going to kill you off on well, Sharknado. Well, you never know. And then uh, when I see that I haven't, I read the script. And, you know, with the first script, I, I didn't even get halfway through before I was ready to pass on it. My wife told me, look, you need to go to work. We're having a kid. You need your insurance. So I realized I had to take one for the team. And I did it thinking no one would ever see this crazy movie. Boy, was I surprised when it blew up. It was so successful that, of course, there was a lot of clamoring, not just here, but all across the world for Sharknado 2. And they brought that to the small screen. And you know, that delivered again to the tune of over a billion Twitter impressions. Were you... Were you the first choice to play Finn Shepard for this role? Oh, hell no. I got the script on my desk. They were starting filming five days later, which immediately tells me someone fell out or someone <laughs> passed. You know, uh, and I knew, understood why when I read the script. Like, oh, my God. I think they, they actually talked to Crispin Glover for a minute, maybe. McFly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I don't know who else was up first. I don't know exactly who fell out, but, uh, you know, I didn't care. This, again, was a straight offer to be uh, shot starting five days from the day I was reading it. How did you get your friends in the movie? Oh, just 
hey, stand here. Basically, this is a... We had 15 background artists or extras. I prefer background artists. And we would just change their shirts. Okay, now you stand in the front, change your shirt, stand in the back. Now, I know you had your legs chewed off in the last scene, but you need to run through the background of this one. You know, whether we were in Washington, D.C. or in Orlando, we worked with a very small crew. So, you know, I have friends all over the place. It was a lot of fun. When you're filming something like this, how many times during the course of it do you just have to kind of break character and start laughing just based on what you know is about to happen? Because for me, and I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it, but when Frankie Muniz has kind of his Monty Python and the Black Knight moment in that movie, oh, yeah. that was that was the moment where I just think this whole thing just jumped. It, you know what? I'll, I'll spoil it. People have seen it, you know, People die in this movie. That shouldn't be a spoiler. You should just expect it. So when Frankie first he's he's getting ready to uh, to blow us blow up the uh, this building, and as he's running towards the button, he gets one leg bit off. So he's hopping, and then he's going to reach for it, and then his arm gets bit off, and then his other leg gets bit off, and then his other arm gets off, and then he, he hits the button. I'm not going to spoil it with how, but he hits the button, and there was a tweet this morning that I had. I just couldn't stop laughing. Malcolm in the middle. Um, saw him last night on Sharknado. Now Malcolm is just the middle. <laughs> it's just so fun. But are you playing it? I mean, is it hard to play something like this straight? Because you do keep kind of that serious look on your face all the way throughout. But It's almost Bruce Willis-esque. You're keeping that look. But you know what's happening and you know the reception it's going to have. You have. I, you know, I set the tone for the movie. If If I'm letting the wind out of the sails, if I'm not keeping high stakes at 100% of the time, then no one else will. So you have to act believable. You have to act naturally in imaginary circumstances. That's what acting is. So I'm very sure not to, to lose the stakes. I'm never wanting to let the wind out of the sails. And within the context of this environment, it's very serious. I mean, it doesn't take much to imagine for a second if there was a tornado, a twister-sized tornado coming at you that was swirling around with sharks. I'd be out of there, personally, you know, but putting myself into the Finn Shepard character and breathing life into Finn, no, I'm an ordinary man, and I'm going to do extraordinary things to keep my family safe. And this is, this is how we're all there. Uh, can you confirm that Sharknado 4 is in the works? I can't personally confirm it, but I was reading the Hollywood Reporter, and apparently uh, they've confirmed it. Yeah. Are you attached to the movie? Uh, you know, anything's possible. I'm <laughs> thinking they're going to keep the formula together. It just really makes sense, uh, especially the way the movie ended. It's almost uh, pivotal to, to have the characters back. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. If there was a you know, A-list type of actor that you could get to join the cast. You mean other than the ones that are in of it? Of course, of course. But I'm saying outside of someone that is... The other A-list actor. The other A-list actor. <laughs> I'm so, you know, the, the, you know what I'm... You know, outside of yourselves, if there was someone that hasn't been in the Sharknado franchises that you would want specifically in, who would it be? You know, I'd like to pull someone from, uh, from music. I'd like to pull someone from um, feature films. Uh, someone from sports, you know, there's, uh, there's all these opportunities. We're really only limited by our imagination, and luckily it's under Thunder Levin, our writer. is very creative, very imaginative, and he, he gets the job done. And it, we're past the point of prospecting. People are now coming to us wanting to be in the movie. Yeah, well, that, that's what I was curious about. I mean, how often do people come up to you and say, can I get in that film? Every time I meet somebody, oh, I want to be in the movie. I want to die. I want to be eaten by a shark. You know, and the people that I've spoken to who were in the movie and that didn't get eaten are a little pissed off. <laughs> Do you have a chainsaw sponsorship? Uh, no, I don't. So let that word get out. <laughs> um, you know what? Uh, anything's possible. It's so funny. The Finn <laughs> Shepard model chainsaw. <laughs> He's Ian Ziering, the actor from Sharknado 3. The encore broadcast of Sharknado 3 airs on Sci-Fi Saturday, July 25th as a lead into Levantula, another sci-fi film that features Ian making a cameo as his character from Sharknado. Also, his clothing line, ChainsawBrands.com, has now launched. Let me ask you this. Can I get in Sharknado 4? 
you know what? Bring some money to set. We'll see what we could do. I'll, That's how everyone else is doing it. Can I cover the craft service table? Oh, I would. You know what? If you sponsor the craft service table, I guarantee you're in. I will get Sports Illustrated to sponsor the craft service table if I can get in the movie. Bring some of those Sports Illustrated models, and you got a deal. Well, that that's doable. You know, that's not you. You give me a time and a place. I am. Hey, wait a second. They're always shooting those those huge layouts on the beach, right? Yes. Oh, see, look uh, at this. Uh, we uh, are uh, uh, we are in sync right here. This my is... head is spinning like a Sharknado right now. <laughs> well, Ian, it was tremendous entertainment. I really enjoyed it last night. Uh, congratulations on the success, and uh, best of luck. Appreciate the time. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. That's Ian Zering, the star of Sharknado Three.